So in this video, we're gonna talk all about Redmond, Washington. I'm gonna take you on site, give you an idea of what Redmond looks like, what it might be like for you to live there, and what important things there are to know about living in the Redmond area. So stay tuned. As always, I'm Bryce Greenleaf, local real estate agent here in the Seattle area. So many of you have reached out to me here from YouTube over the years when you're looking to purchase a home. So if you're looking to relocate to the Seattle area or you already live here and you're looking to buy a home, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help you. So let's talk about why people like living in Redmond and why you might want to consider moving here. I've got four categories I really want to go over here, starting with the jobs. Of course, Redmond is well known for high paying jobs in the area. You have Microsoft headquarters just down the road. You also have a lot of companies located on this east side in cities like Bellevue right next door. In Kirkland, you've got companies like Google and Amazon. There's Facebook offices. There are SpaceX offices around here. There are a lot of different tech companies in this area. Now, not just tech companies, a lot of healthcare jobs and finance jobs. So there's a lot of opportunity for high paying jobs here in Redmond and the surrounding cities. Outside of just jobs, there's a lot of people moving over here because of the schools. Very well rated schools in this area. Redmond is in the Lake Washington School District. And if you look at niche.com, you can see they have Lake Washington School District rated as the number three district in the state out of 258 districts. So very well rated schools. Go to greatschools.org as well. You can see there are a lot of eights and nines when it comes to the school ratings. So a lot of people are moving in this area with the goal in mind of wanting to be in this school district. Now there's also a lot to do in Redmond. There's a lot of different things that you can do to enjoy a nice day or, or a day inside as well. Starting off with Redmond Town Center. So I'm here at Redmond Town Center. So this is really the central location of Redmond. All your shopping and restaurants, there's all sorts of stuff here at Redmond Town Center. Whether you want to grab lunch, grab coffee, go to a sit down nice restaurant, grab a drink at the end of the day, hit one of the bars around here. There's a lot to do here around Redmond Town Center. Now it's not as hustle and bustle and lively as maybe Bellevue is. Um, so it's a little bit quieter, a little bit slower paced, but there's certainly a lot to do here around Redmond Town Center. Outside Redmond Town Center, you also have downtown or Old Town down here where you have a lot more shops, restaurants. You have the downtown park here that I'm at that they put right in the middle of the city for people to enjoy some green space and some events out here during the year. You can see all the condos and apartment buildings surrounding me through here. They've really built this place out to be a pretty walkable area. So if you want to live an urban lifestyle, but you want something a bit quieter than Seattle or Bellevue, there are options for that down here. Living in one of these condo or apartment buildings, being able to walk to public transportation and all your restaurants and shopping and there's doctor's offices down here, all sorts of stuff to do here in Redmond. Now outside of Redmond Town Center and downtown, Old Town, everything down there, another really popular spot for people to hang out and spend a nice day is Marymore Park. So Marymore Park is a collection of a lot of different spaces like ball fields, soccer fields, uh, there's basketball courts, there's tennis courts, you've got playgrounds for the kids. They do a lot of events here at Marymore as well, like picnic in the park, movie nights, where they get out the big screen, you can lay a blanket down or, or lawn chairs and enjoy a movie on the screen with the kids. There's also a great off-leash dog park here at Marymore. This is my favorite off-leash dog park, probably in the entire Seattle metropolitan area. We've been here a number of times. We were taking our dogs here when I was a kid. So it's a great spot. There's, there's spots where the dogs can jump in the water, go swimming and chase the ball. It's kind of a looped trail so you can walk all the way around. Again, it's off-leash for the dogs to enjoy and get out all of their energy. Now, the last reason I'm gonna talk about here is just the convenience and overall kind of commuter friendly location that Redmond is. I mentioned all the jobs that are close by, easy to get to and from, very high paying jobs. But not only that, you're just, you have everything around you when it comes to the amenities. We talked about all the restaurants and uh, shops and everything down in the Redmond area. All your doctor's offices and hospitals and everything is gonna be close by as well. 
you're located tucked a little bit further east when it comes to being on a major freeway. So I-405 is the major freeway that runs through the east side here in the Seattle metropolitan area that runs through Kirkland and Bellevue. Redmond is set a little bit further east, so you've got to go back up through Kirkland to get to I-405, but it's not a bad drive, and it, it's nice that you're tucked back here, and it feels a little bit more quiet here in Redmond than it does in, say, a Bellevue, where you have all the hustle and bustle. Along with that, there's a light rail station coming here to Redmond, actually two different stops that are going to be coming to Redmond. Light rail is our train system, currently runs on the west side through Seattle, north and south, and they are bringing it over to the east side here, so it's going to hit Bellevue, and and it's going to hit Redmond as well. So for those that want to rely on public transportation or want to get to Bellevue and Seattle without having to drive their own car, that is going to be a great option for you to take advantage of. Now, when it comes to real estate in Redmond, I showed you downtown where all the condos are. So those are certainly options outside of that with single family homes. It is a more expensive area here because of the high paying jobs, the great schools, all the amenities it is more expensive to live here in Redmond. The median home price right now for a single family home is about 1.4 million. So I wanna show you a few different options in this area to give you an idea of what you're gonna be able to get for your money here in Redmond. So let's jump over to the first house. So starting off for property number one, I wanted to show you kind of a more entry level price point. So this townhome behind me, two bedrooms, one bathroom, just over a thousand square feet. It's priced just under 600,000. You can see that it's built in 2009, so it's got good finishes. It's certainly moving ready. It's not a fixer upper or anything like that. You could certainly make your upgrades if you wanted to, but it looks nice and clean and in a good spot. There's a lot of townhomes like this in the Redmond area. So. If you're saying, hey, you know, 1.4 million for single family home, I can't do that. If you don't need the big house, the yard, all of there's a lot of townhomes and condos in this area at a much more affordable point. So this will give you an idea of what that might look like. Let's jump over to house number two. So house number two is just behind me here. Three bedroom, 3,000 square feet. Um, it's priced just under 1.7 million. Built in 2001, so it's a big house. This is, of course, a lot closer to that median price point, over the median price point here um, in Redmond. It's, like I said, it's 3,000 square feet, so naturally, it is gonna be a, a little bit more expensive. Now, this is the Redmond Ridge area, so it's further east from downtown. You're about 10, 15 minutes to get into, like, the downtown Redmond area down there. Um, but Redmond Ridge up here, there's a lot more newer homes up in this area over the last 20 years. This has really been built out, so there's a lot of communities like this has sprouted up after 2000 and the years since. Um, so up here you've got a SpaceX office. This is where that's located. So there's a lot of people that work over there that live in this area. And there's still a lot to do up here in Redmond Ridge. There's a lot of parks, there's golf, there's a lot of trails. So it's much more quiet in this area and really feels like suburbia, but it's a very, very pleasant area to be. So that's a good representation. You know, you're gonna spend in the mid one millions and up from there to be here in Redmond Ridge.
So this is the last home here behind me. Now this is a four bedroom home, just under 2000 square feet. So a pretty average sized home in the Redmond area. It was built in 1994 priced at 1.15 million. So we're below the median price point here. So you can still get a really good house here closer to a million. You can see the finishes inside. It was just completely remodeled, brand new finishes all around. So you can still get, like I said, a really decent house. Now this is in the Education Hill neighborhood. It's just north of downtown. You're, you know, five, less than 10 minutes to get into to downtown Redmond and all the shopping and restaurants and everything down there. It's called Education Hill because of all the schools up here. There's a lot of parks, again, trails, uh, very suburbia type of a feel, um, but you know, very family friendly neighborhoods, kids all over the place. And again, with those parks, plenty of places to take the kids and, and do all sorts of activities here in the Education Hill neighborhood. All right, well, this concludes my video here on Redmond. As you can see, it's one of the most desirable cities in the greater Seattle area that people are moving to. Home prices surely reflect that, but it is a beautiful and clean area. Great for families and, and all sorts of amenities and recreation and schools and jobs and, and the work. So if you're moving over here or maybe you already live in the Seattle area, and you're looking to purchase a home, like I mentioned, I'm an active real estate agent in this area. So I'd be happy to help you out with that process. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you on the next one.